Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. No, it's afternoon. Oh my god, it's 12 o'clock. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be on today. I have an order that came in for two cards that I'm going to make while eating some... What are these called? Hot tamales. And then I have some more stuff to do. This morning was like a total... Uh, I'll talk about it later. Anyway, one of the cards is supposed to be uh, with the penguin, penguin skiing. A birthday card for uh, a young boy that loves skiing. And then the other card is for another boy that also loves skiing. And I have these skis here that I've stamped out. And I'm going to color them and see how I like them. And then I'm going to attach them over here and have some birthday wishes um, on this trophy. So that's going to be one card and then this will be another card. For this one I'm thinking that we can have um, some mountains in the background, um, a couple of trees, maybe one or two over here and here, and then this little guy in the center with some kind of, um, I don't know, hill or mountain or something. And then I'm definitely going to use happy birthday, Burr, cold, get it, <clears throat> because it's a birthday card. But I also think I'm going to use one of these other ones, like there's snow way you could be any cooler, very cute pun. Or chill wishes and penguin kisses because that's also kind of fun so we're gonna do this one after uh, first I'm gonna concentrate on this one because it should be easy enough I need to get uh, this is the stamp set and it's from a local um, Norwegian company I think they've kind of changed names, but we use the skis from that, and that's all done. I'm going to color them up and cut them out, which that won't be very exciting, but needs to be done. And then I'll work on the other one. So I don't even know what skis look like. I mean, I do know what they look like, but are they like crazy colors and stuff? Or I'm not sure that I know that. So I need to actually Google skis, look at some images and see what colors they are. Um, okay. They're all colors. That's not really helpful. All right. Well, I know it's for a boy, so, and I could make them black, but then you wouldn't see many, much of the details. So I think I'm just going to go with the standard blue and no blue isn't just for boys, but half the world thinks it is. So, you know, there we are. Um, I think I will go with my favorite blue combination. Grab my colored chart and see, I think I'd like to be down in this area more like a brighter blue so we will go with if i can find the color uh 26 28 26 and i think we'll go with 23 for highlight they're they're quite small so there's only so much you can get I stamped this one first and I didn't like how fuzzy it looked in there. And then I stamped this one and I didn't like how it wasn't clear. So then I stamped this one and I liked it. So I'm going to color that one. I may cut these out and just um, tape them underneath so that there's some heft to it. But I'm just going to go and do my normal quick Cobra coloring. I don't know what these 
things are. I guess they should probably be white, right? Aren't most ski things on... Ugh. I don't know anything about skis. Well, I'm definitely going to keep this section white or maybe make it silver or something. So I'll just uh, put some shadow along some of the skis. I know I live in Norway and I don't ski. It's a problem, apparently. Uh, I don't have the knees for skiing. That's why I don't ski. Plus, when I was younger, I did go skiing because I grew up in a place where there is snow in the winter. And uh, I fell down and hurt myself. So I decided not skiing wasn't really for me. Plus, I don't really like being out in the cold. So there's that. All right. So just a little bit of shadow and I'm going to blend it out. These are going to be highly um, it's hard to do something and talk at the same time. These are going to have a lot of highlight because I want them to stand out a lot so I'm just going to blend it out like that and then the rest will be this lighter color if I was clever I could probably draw a design on it too but I'm not that clever. Or I guess it would probably be more that I don't have the time to be that clever. Um, I spoke with uh, a woman this morning about these and I have the time obviously today to do them but I normally there would be a lot more planning and whatever involved but I need to get them in the mail tonight preferably worst case tomorrow so I just need to get them done and done and in her hands is better than not so I'm just going over some of the dark darker blue just to blend it a bit more And maybe skis don't look like this. I don't know. I don't think I like that white, so I'm just going to take a little bit of gray and make them silver or metal colored. And I can do... I really should need a, I need a dark color. I'm so small, but... If I don't have a darker color, then they won't look metal. And uh, I don't know where a highlight would be on this either. So I'm just going to guess that it would be down the center would be the darker part. And... The rest would be lighter. Again, not uh, not being a skier, I don't really know. I could be very wrong, but it won't look that bad. And then just go over everything with a lighter color, blend it all in. It's not flat, so that's really the biggest part. So just very simple, very quick, and that is done for that. I I'm gonna cut these out. I saw these are actually sewing scissors, but um, 
I don't use them for sewing. I have one pair that I do use for sewing. These pair are just for paper. You're not supposed to switch your scissors, but more it's that you're not supposed to use, like if you use scissors for paper, then you're not supposed to use them on anything else. And that part I follow. So I'm a little bit delayed too today. I was planning on streaming earlier, but um, I had a bunch of just phone calls to make and things to find out and some research to do. So that kind of sucked up my whole morning. Not that it's a bad thing, it's just it's hard to get all the things done that you need to for a house and a kid and and still keep a proper schedule. At least in my case. I know many people are successful in doing that <laughs> in life, but I don't happen to be one of them. I'm perpetually late. I have figured out that it's not because I want to be late. Obviously, I don't. Um, nobody really wants to show up late. Although, now I'm going to have people, if I have a funeral or a wake, it's going to start late because that's who I am in real life. Ten minutes perpetually behind. But um, I, I'm bad at estimating so you know when you have something to do you're like oh that'll take about 20 minutes or something um and it does take 20 minutes but there's all the things before and after that i don't think about when i'm like oh yeah that's how long it'll take so and i've tried um even like listing things out and putting time values on them that way but i am just really bad I just can't, things that should take 10 minutes, sometimes take 10 minutes, but often it's the before and after that adds more to it. So then I started just um, <laughs> like doubling it. So if I think it'll take 10 minutes, say it'll take 20 minutes. And then that wasn't enough. So then I started tripling it and that wasn't enough at times. Sometimes it was, or sometimes it was done early. But uh, I, I'm just, I don't have that life skill. It's, I guess it's something that's learned. and Or, I don't know, maybe it is a natural talent and I just it's just not one of mine. So, yeah, I'm always late. I think maybe I will cut these out too. Just to glue them together. Make this smaller. So it's easier and I'm going to do this hard part first because I want care used here and everything else is just a uh, no curves and pretty straight line. So fairly easy to do and I should probably put this over here so you can actually see what I'm doing. I was doing some research as well because my friend and I are going to a spa that I was extremely lucky enough to win um, during the winter holidays. And now, you know, things are, Norway is all wide open. So, and plus we've both gotten Corona at this point. And so we have some pretty good immunity right at the moment. Um, and so we're thinking about going. So I wanted to, to ask um, a woman who is responsible for the for getting the cards in the auction that I won. Uh, some questions just about, about how it works and stuff. I've, I've never been to this place and it 
is extremely luxurious. And uh, I just had questions, so she was very patient. Answer all my questions. And now I know the better days to go, and I have to call my friend and tell that tell her what I learned. But we will be going shortly. And there will be no streams on that day, no matter whatever day it is, because you can't have your phone with you. You can't have anything with you. You have to leave it, shut it off, and put it in a cabinet. So I can't tell you <laughs> how excited I am to that for that part. Definitely need to make sure that the man is prepared. Um for pickup and delivery of a child. Maybe you can just take the day off and get something done in the house. Or maybe we'll sit and play Minecraft, who knows. Uh, but he'll have to pick up the child and feed it. Him, not it. So we have to plan a good day for that, too. So just a lot of uh, daily work. Had to cancel an appointment for my kid, but I wasn't sure if I actually should. So I had to talk to them about that and see if that's going on. And apparently he was cold today at school because it, it is colder today it's uh, negative two celsius and uh the past couple i don't know the week past week it's been you know like 10 13 degrees so it's been quite warm and then today is quite cold and he wasn't happy so he started gathering twigs and sticks and he was going to make a fire in the schoolyard because he was cold so that was a cute picture that I got today. I don't know where he learned to do that. Probably from them because they go, they have uh, outside school usually once a week or so and they take a nice long hike and have hot dogs over a campfire and he is observant so he probably saw them starting the fire and uh, decided since he was cold, he was going to start his own. Makes total sense to me. But sometimes I wish my kid wasn't as clever as he is. So this is all going to go in recycling. And I'm just going to attach these so it's a little bit thicker because why not right just a little bit of roll on tape smooth away the parts left on the side and attach carefully And this one, I'm going to put it in the back. But same process. And then I have to decide what kind of set sentiment I want. Um, I also probably should have asked if it should be in English or Norwegian. I'm just getting off any like extra excess glue. So nice and quick and easy, and I'm just gonna kind of lean them up against the trophy, like so ish. Yeah. 
maybe like so. And then a sentiment at the top. But I need to see what I do want for a sentiment. Obviously, happy birthday, but something maybe that fits better with skiing. So I need to look at my stamp database. Let's see. Birthday. Yep, that's what I wanted. And I just closed it. I had a lot of stamps, a lot of options to choose from. So I just need to find maybe I should search for sentiment. I should have done this before, but I actually wasn't even sure if I was going to stream today with all of the other uh, things that I had to do and phone calls that I had to make. So, but then I figured I have to do these cards anyway, so I might as well just uh, throw it on stream. It's not not going to be nearly as put together, but this is actually what it's like, so. I like this one. But do I? I think I do. All right, let me grab that quickly. Would you believe it was the very first stamp package in the container? So lucky for me. All right. And that's good because I want to get this done kind of quickly. I have the other one to make. So I was thinking, since I have a lot of room up here, I can do like a happy there and then have this more special birthday underneath so something along maybe not I don't know let's see I definitely want the birthday there I think that would look fine Maybe more over. Definitely won't fit side by side because this is too long and I don't want that cut off. But I also could overlap a little bit. And I think my original idea was pretty good. I'm going to stick with that. But I'm going to stamp this just with ink and I'm going to emboss this to make it a little bit more special. I'm going to try and find a blue that matches this to bring color in to this. And see if I. No, that won't work. That's not blue. Blues, here we go. I do not. 
seem to have well nearly that one yeah okay blue jay is the name so now i just have to find it because as you saw there's a lot Give me a second. Ah, okay, I found it. All right, and because I want this to kind of be perfect, I'm going to use my stamping platform. Put the magnets underneath after. All right, so I'm just going to line it up where I think it needs to go. That looks pretty straight. Do one at a time. rough it up a little bit that's to prevent the ink from beading and I'll stamp a couple of times so that there's a nice clear crisp oh, actually that one looks pretty good so there Doing this. Did we even know that this much went into just making a simple card? Nope. Nobody did. I certainly didn't. I might not have gotten involved <laughs> had I known. There's a lot of supplies you need. Stop moving. This is me being a perfectionist. And that'll be fine. That is good. But this one, like I said, we're going to um, emboss it. So it adds a little bit of sparkle to it and kind of goes hand in hand. The skis are blue, that's blue. Trophy silver, this will be silver. Kind of goes hand in hand. And actually, I have my silver right here because I just used it. So, some of the embossing part of I put in a little container just so they are easier to use. Uh, only the ones that I use, like a, a lot, decent. So, a lot of clear. I like using clear embossing powder over a color like that. 
which I could actually do that too. Just make that a little bit more exciting as well. I guess I'm feeling a little internal guilt. What is so satisfying? And good morning. <laughs> or good afternoon, I should say. All right. And then I have a little plastic spoon. Oh, you know what I did not do is use my my powder to get it to not stick. So I'm going to have a little bit more cleanup than normal. What happens when you're in a rush, right? That's okay. But by using that, I could have saved myself all of this work because this is going to take much longer than normal, sadly. Just the whole point. And I know I'm brushing at things that you can't even see, but I can see them. And I'm a perfectionist, so. The really fine detail, it's just a point. And maybe people wouldn't notice, probably not, but I notice. And if it's going to have my name attached to it, I want it to be the best it can be. So it doesn't really take that long. To, uh, just make sure that it is really nice, right? In the grand scheme of things, it was worth those extra 30 seconds to a minute. All right, so let me clean this. I actually might emboss that, that happy as well because why not? Um, why not? Right? But first I'm going to mute you and use the heat gun. So I'll be right back. Okay, so that now is nice and shiny. And that doesn't look focused at all. Oh, there it is. Okay. So nice and shiny, silver. And then I'm going to go over this one. I'm just going to line this up exactly where it was before. Um, I need to put my head in the way, though. So hold on a second. Yeah. And then I'm um, just going to stamp uh, with this clear embossing powder and then go over it with, with clear 
no, clear embossing ink, and then go over it with clear embossing powder, just so it sticks up, still shows the color, but it's just a little, a little extra. There we go. Um, it's such a simple card, so I really want to make it as special as I can. Um, put this all the way. Put this way. And a clear embossing Okay. Is it dropping frames at all? Sometimes it seems like it's freezing on my screen and I just don't know if it's my computer or not. All right. So it has the... Oh, I didn't use again <laughs> my powder but since this one is clear I don't have to be nearly as detailed thankfully Oops. took a little too much off there As you can see, I use a lot of clear, so. Put that back there. And muted one more time. Okay, so that blue actually was much darker than the swatch that I had. So I'm wondering if I should go back in and add just a little bit more dark as shadow on this because perfectionist and let's Let's see if I just do it, a, give it a quick. With this, this is a slightly darker blue than originally used. It's in the same color family, but. And then just. Go through, just blend it out, and then go in with the lighter again. Just to make these a little bit darker so that they match more. If I had crafting friends with me, they would just say that I'm crazy. And just leave alone but 
I can't do that. I think at least there's a little bit more dark in there and that will match better with that. I think I'm going to, I want them kind of leaning on the trophy, but really it would be over like that if it was uh, like a real thing. And then this one needs to be straight. And I think I'm just going to put them over there. And I actually think I'm going to uh, pop them up and use some dimensional tape. It wasn't the plan before, but um, I don't really, I guess, have, like, I have somewhat of a plan, but, you know, when your inspiration hits or... Whatever, you just go with it. That's why it takes a long time to make these things. But I'm just going to do these, uh, these two cards today. And then next time I stream, I am going to play... I'm going to create some backgrounds using... Um, distress ink which is like a water soluble which means it's affected by water ink um, so you can get some really cool effects with once you you know drop a little water on and let it uh, soak in and change change the the ink I have some cards I need to get made for my design team contributions and um, I don't have any stamps in particular that um, the owner wants me to color so she suggested some distress cards and I had um, I got some inspiration the other day or last week or something uh, for some really kind of basic good cards and I think I'm gonna make those all right so that is that very simple very nice I need to get a base for them which I already have pre-cut because I just take the time to um, to cut a lot at a time so that when I'm doing stuff like this or uh, this was a special order that was mentioned last week but never got details for so when I spoke to her today uh, she's like, oh, I guess it's too late. And I said, no, it's not too late. I can certainly do that and help you out. So there's one. The next one is going to involve these really cute penguins. At least this one. And I am going to color him up. What am I going to do? I'm going to use this one for the background. I thought I had an extra piece of coloring card dock, but I do not. So 
I'm going to stamp them on here, color them, and then die cut them out. So I need ink and I need a stamping block. I just got a new block and I honestly can't find it. I have no idea what I did with it. So I like to make sure that I get good ink coverage because I'm not using a stamping platform. I'm just uh, doing it myself and I want to make sure that I can just stamp it once and be done. So make sure that there's a lot of ink and then just let it sit for a few seconds so the ink can adhere to the page. And then there you go. And then Bob's your uncle. And that's like a saying, but I don't know why it's a saying. I think it came from a movie or something. I only know the saying, not the reasons behind it though. And I'm going to give myself the option. I'm just going to uh, stamp out a few mountains. I don't know if I'll use them, but I want them in case I do want to use them. I'm leaving a lot of space because I have the dies for this. So... I'm going to um, tape the dies on and then run it through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to also do a couple of trees. I don't really, it's not so important how these stamp out. Um, that they're perfect because they're going to be covered and there's not there's no details it's just lines can't imagine that I'm going to use more than that so if I even use them at all So that's that. I'm going to use it again, so I'm not going to put it away. And I'm going to have a hot tamale. So now I'm going to color all these. I'm again going to go with blue. Um, because it is for a boy. And I think I'm going to go with the same color. Actually, no, I'm going to go with my favorite blue color. And I'm going to need a good evergreen color for the trees. So I'm going to come to my tree sheet where I have a nice evergreen color pull those out um, I can find them all one two One. Oh, here we go. I might not use all four colors, but that's a really good blend. And then for the mountains, I'm just going to use a darkish gray. Let's 
and a lighter for the top where the snow is, or maybe I'll use a blue. A light blue for snow. Okay, I'm going to do the mountains first because I can. And I am going to color them so that the highlight is in the center. So darker on the sides. Coming up. And then just progressively getting lighter to the center. And I'm just going to do them all the same because I don't even know if I'm going to use them. And if I put it, the highlight on a certain side and then I put it on the card and it, the light source doesn't make sense to me, I'll be unhappy. <laughs> so if I just put it in the center, um, just adding a little shadow up here, then it's uh, pretty universal. And can go anywhere. The shadow is going to be, I mean, the highlight is going to be in the center, but it can be different shapes, make it look more organic. Blend it all out. This is going to be the lightest color. These are small background items. So it doesn't need that much detail. And since I'm hoping to get these in the mail today, would be the best. Speed is a high factor. I'm just going over the same place just to kind of get a smoother blend. I'm going to add a little bit uh, on the center here, blue. Add some over here, some over here. Just change it up a little bit. But so it doesn't look like just a blue stripe. I'm going to soften the edges with my colorless blender, which you won't be able to really see for a bit. Okay. Oh, I have the same problem with skis, but I think I'm going to use the same blue so it matches. I don't know if people actually do match their skis and their attire that way. Quite possible. Um, but I'm going to do the trees first. And I'm not going to use all that much 
of this darkest. I'm just using it at the bottom here of uh, the branches. Just a little bit. And they're all going to be colored the same. Again, I don't even know if I'm going to use them, but I'd rather have them. And since I'm going to take the time to color the main figure, it's not so much more to do this one, to these, I should say, at the same time. And if I don't use them, I can always save them and use them on another card. I have to start thinking about Christmas cards. I know it's April, but Just going over the other color and blending it out with the next darkest. And then just go through. Oh, I think my poor dog is locked out of the room and she's unhappy. I don't actually think I'm going to use this lightest color. I think that looks good just the way it is. I just want to see actually what it is. I don't really think this one is needed. I'm just going to blend it out with which is now the lightest color. I just want variation. Um, but kind of variation in a more realistic way. It's a pretty cartoony kind of tree. But that doesn't mean it has to be just one color and it doesn't mean that it it has to be colored cartoony either it can be in real colors with shadows and highlights i feel like i just say those words all the time but it's the majority of what i'm doing if i'm painting or coloring i'm always looking to see like where there should be shadows and where there should be Um, highlights. My phone keeps bugging me. It, somebody wants me to go do something. Which I will do momentarily. It's just one of those days where all the things are pay attention to me all day right now. And I haven't eaten lunch, which I have to do that after, which is going to be more like dinner time. And I didn't plan for dinner either. So I've got that to do as well. Um, I am going to do... Ugh. I'm going to put the highlight on this side, and then so the darkest will be here. At the bottom, there will always be a shadow because this sits on top of that and then I'm going to flip it upside down and make a line very close to the edge going up here 
and then feather that out a bit. Like that. And since these are skis and they're going to be the same color, the darker would be under here, right? Underneath the penguin. So, and then the further away they get, they would be more in the light, so lighter. Oh, this marker needs to be refilled, but I'm not going to get that now because it's really just a small thing. You can push through. See, you did it. No problem. Then the lightest color is going to fill this in over here. And so that there's good contrast, I'm going to go in on the front here with the, one of the darker colors. I don't know if that's what skis look like, but I'm coloring a penguin skiing. So I think I have a little freedom to make it what I want. Blend that in and then I'm just going to lightly go over the rest so that blend is nice and smooth. And then with this lighter color I'm going to color on the side here so it looks more rounded. I think I'm going to use this color that was struggling and do the glasses. Um, and I think I'll just kind of do them somewhat ombre in this color. So darker at the bottom. Blending up into a lighter blue and then the lightest color at the top So he all matches. And then what I'm actually going to, oh, I was going to use a darker color down here. Um, I'm going to add just some streaks on the glass just to make them look like glass. So it's like the reflection. And then I am going to use the same grays that I used on the mountain to color up the penguin. And instead of sounding like a broken record, I'm just going to color because I feel like all I talk about is shadows and highlights and where they should be. I'm not really sure that anyone cares. So 
So if you ever have questions, ask, but it's all like coloring 101 kind of stuff. So I'll be happy to answer, but I don't, I'm not sure that it really needs to be explained. And lightest color, add some highlight and shape. To all of the pieces. Wouldn't it be great if penguins could ski? I mean, I would like to see that. But yeah, they'd be good at it from all that experience they have sliding down on their, the hill on their bellies, right? All right. Penguin is done. It looks cool. I'm going to take an orange and do his beak. And it's really small, so it's just going to be one color. And I'm trying to figure out the skis have those things on them right so are those his legs behind they actually look like skis more so i think i'm going to color them that the darkest of the blue back there and then you will just have to remember that he's on skis or that can look like legs and um those are those like the things you put your boots in right these things here um just take two grays and the grays the shadow will be on the outside didn't i just say i was going to talk stop talking about that Do that there. Do this here. Blend it. Little highlight. And he is done. So everything is done. Oh wait, and I need a brown for the trees. How about this one? Okay, now I'm going to die cut them. And I don't know if you've seen it before, but this is what this is my, I have a larger one. And how it works is you put what you need there. And these are the dies. Okay. I didn't know there was two size mountains. 
And there's also two size threes. I only had, um, I only stamped one of the. All right. So this platform underneath is magnetic. So it usually it holds like the die in place once you put it down. Um, but I like I like to put a little bit of tape too because then I know it's going to stay in place. And this is tape that's kind of made for this purpose. It's not, it's sticky, but it's not very strong. So it won't, oh, that is the wrong, that's the wrong one. So it won't rip the paper when you take it off. And then, like this one I'm trying to put in place, and it, the magnet is moving it, which is why I use the tape also. You hope not what? I hope not. I hope not? What don't you hope? All right, so then you take this other piece uh, and every time you use it, you get it like there's like a score. So I cut out a couple of frames and these um, plastic pieces you have to replace and this, this one is new. So they look like, oh, that was loud. Um, they look like heck after They've been used a bit. All right. So now you just pull up the tape. This pops out. And you have a little die cut. There we go. Why is it having such a problem focusing? Oh, yes, no. This tape is made specifically for uh, this stuff so it doesn't uh, tear. It's really wonderful. It's also, as you can imagine, because it's so wonderful, very expensive. But thankfully, I can order it um, and get it in Norway now before I had to get it directly from the US so you know shipping but price of doing business okay my little penguin guy here Just stick the little pieces everywhere so you can use them in the future. Oh, how cute is he, huh? Okay, so we have to st still keep doing until all of these are cut out. So you do it again. And this like snapping noise that you hear is normal. It's just the plastic flexing.
Oh, I'm sorry. I hope that wasn't really loud. My ring just hit the microphone. And for these two, I could die cut them, but I'm actually just going to use scissors because <laughs> it'll just be quicker. They're just triangles. So. Oh. Um. Get my nice. Oh, good. I'm so afraid it blew out your ears. Yeah. How's your day? You got, do you have the uh, house to yourself today? I do not. I never have the house to myself. But I did pick up some really good information about the spa today. Um, so we have to talk about that at some point. Okay. That's all of this, all of the potential pieces for the card. So this is going to be the base of the card. And what I was envisioning is having like a blue sky, which I can just do quickly with some distress ink. And then um, some, a big hill of some sort. He will be about here. And I figured we could put some of these mountains in the background. Different heights, whatever. A tree or two. Maybe one over here. And then underneath the two sentiments. So really I just need to kind of figure out, cut out a hill shape, which if I cut this, I can do. The day is nice, but spawn one is still home. No way. But it was feeling better. I will tell you later. There's um yeah. You'll understand. So I want the hill to kind of be about this tall ish. So what I'm gonna just do real quick is There we go. And then I'll cut this out. He is, and he is going to school tomorrow. Capital G for going. Yeah. Uh, one of the calls that I had to make today was to the Corona place. Uh, to talk about whether or not the boy should actually get his vaccine because he just got over corona and they were like well you didn't get a pcr test so now you can't travel and i was like I i'm not i'm not going anywhere <laughs> we're, not, we're not traveling this year it's not a problem so maybe by the time we do travel uh yeah we'll need one or whatever but uh, he has to wait three months now, and then he can get his second vaccine. 
So. Oops. Can put these at just different heights, formations, all of that stuff. Like that. Maybe just a tree. I can cuddle off any anything that fits on the side. So I will probably oops keep that there and put this one kind of underneath like that. Or maybe I'll keep it on top. Oops. Can't be that bad. Another one down here, and then this guy here. So basically it I need to color the background. I'm just going to use some distressing for that and then kind of figure out where things would go and stamp the sentiment on this piece. And I'm just going to use black because, because I am. So I need now. And I also need, oh no, where is that? I need a brush, which is behind the microphone. So I'm not sure. Oh no, it's not behind the microphone. Yes, it is behind the microphone. I need to move this one second. Okay, I hope that wasn't too loud. These are, they look like makeup brushes, but it's actually like a blending brush, which it probably is in makeup as well. I haven't worn makeup in so many years, but uh, I don't really remember. But I have a plastic sheet somewhere and I lost it. So I'm just going to use a piece of paper. Yeah. So this is just something that I took out of recycling. And just so I can um, start off the card. And then just blend some blue across. And I do want it kind of uneven so it looks like uh, clouds. I'm going further down than I probably need to because I'm not exactly sure where I want that hill. So when I have the option for some of it to show, and I don't want to go backwards to do it again. I'm just trying to make sure that the edges are well covered. Back to recycling. 
now if this fits like that looks like a nice little sky um, I'm just gonna Let me just figure out where I want to put these things. So, actually, I'm not too far on. I didn't die cut this one properly, so I could put it here and cut off the parts that I don't like. And then these pieces can just kind of sit under here. A couple of trees for color. Maybe something along that line. And then he can be here. And then happy birthday and stuff down there. So I think that's what I want. So now it's just a matter of kind of remembering that, tightening it all up. And gluing them down. Now that was about here. Maybe. This one will be lower. this one was ish how did I do oh I didn't do good at all look at that these all need to come down and the best part and the reason why I use this is because you can take them off without damaging them if you don't press it down hard. You need to come down more. So I am pressing them down but just lightly. Now I want these up, right? Yeah, like that. This one can stay. This one I want like that. All right. So now I'm just going to press them down and get rid of any residual glue. I also have an eraser that does this, made for glue. Remember how I said I'm a perfectionist? Yeah. Better. And now the trees. This one is definitely going to be cut off because I don't like I'm not going to tape this down yet 
because I need to stamp on it, but I can put these on top. So this one is going to be like that, and then cut off the sides. Or side. Switch those. Put a smaller one on this side here. And a larger one. over here. Just stagger them a bit. Like that. I'm going to press them down and then get any, rid of any extra glue. I don't even know if you can see that, but I can. And whoever gets it up close and personal will see it too. Hence why I do it. Okay. So now I need to, I'm just going to put this on top of here and he is going to go about right here. I'm just going to tag him just a little bit so that he stays so that I can figure out the stamping. If I can find what I did with the stamp. So I definitely want happy birthday. Um, I need you to stay still, stay. And I think I'm going to use, there's no way you could be any cooler. Like that. And because it's a sentiment, I'm going to want to stamp it more than once. So stamping platform. I'm also going to stamp it in blue, but not that dark one. I'm going to pick a lighter one. Not the blue that we used on the other card. That is far darker than I wanted. All right, get this lined up. Centered, etc. Sorry if my head is in the in the shot. I think that looks good. So let's see. I need a blue that is not as dark. So I have uh, the small cubes of Altenew ink, and 
Nope, I just ruined it. Look at that. But I fixed it. All right. So I'm just going to stamp this a couple of times. I like that this kind of matches the background so it ties everything in together. Good. Done. Put these away. What a cute little card, huh? As you can see, I've used this one quite a lot. <laughs> the stamp, I've used it so much that the dye has, um, the ink has dyed the stamp. So, but it doesn't affect quality. That's a nice, cute little card. All right. Put all of these away. And now you, I'm going to attach this. I can leave him there, it doesn't matter. The tape just folded in on itself. I'm trying to get it to unfold, but because it's tape, it's also sticking to itself. There we go. All right. This will go on here. And now, I'm going to trim off the tree. So that it fits and takes away the part that I don't like. It still looks complete. And I'm going to attach it to a base. And I'm going to remove the dog hair from the tape. I know that she has a dog, so it's not that big a deal, but it's unprofessional. Press all that down, and now this guy, he only was like uh, temporary, it was a tiny bit of tape. So I'm just going to put more so that he really stays 
down. It doesn't come off. Can you imagine a card falling apart in your hands? I'd be so mortified. So... Take that. My hair is stuck now. That's never a surprise. My hair gets stuck in literally everything. So I'm pressing down with the eraser and then also removing any residual pieces like that stick out on the side. Again, you probably can't see it, but I can. And that's it. It also takes glue off of your mat. Such a good eraser to have. And that's that. That's one card. That's two cards. I'll stamp my stamp on them. So everyone knows they're handmade. And also who handmade them. And I have some other cards here that are going to her. I'm not sure if they are stamped, these are. Oh no, those aren't going, hold on. Okay. She also bought a bunch of other ones. That one is stamped. This one is not. This one is. And all of these are because they're already packaged so stamp these three and wait for them to dry Envelopes and get them sent off today. And there you have it two custom cards made in under two hours. Not as ornate as I would like, but That is okay, because time is of the essence. All right, that the card looks adorable. Oh, thank you. So envelope. Nope, wrong size envelope. Envelope. envelope on the floor. Actually, I didn't. There's a little piece that is overhanging. And perfectionist to the rescue. So there we go. That bothers me. <laughs> Okay. 
and envelope and I need a different envelope for that one. All right, so that was today, and that's, this is something I colored before. So that is the result of today. Uh, next time I'm going to be doing some backgrounds with distressing for sure. I don't know what, but I'm just going to play around. And yeah. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Possibly tomorrow. Mm, I don't even know what day it is. If not tomorrow, then definitely on Friday. But one of those days, I'll, uh, I'll be streaming. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.